Hi everyone, it's Christy and we are going to get real with makeup brushes. And in this tutorial, it's really quick, I want to talk about how to care for your brushes. So these are from Beauty Counter. We've got a big powder brush that can also be used as a bronzer. And it's fantastic because it's tapered. So when you're putting the bronzer, you're just pressing it onto the skin really lightly. The contour brush, which is our blush brush too, can actually contour, put the blush in. It can even blend and smooth out your shadow. We've got a foundation brush, and you can also use it for concealer. It's just a little bit big that goes up in here. But the foundation brush will press and apply just enough foundation to give you a good coverage. And then two eyeshadow brushes. The flat one, which is great for the base color. And then we've got the tapered one that goes right into the crease. And the, jo the brush, um, because of the shape of it, it does all of the job on its own. So the importance of brushes is, let's be very clear, you want to have brushes that are high quality. Now these are not animal hair, they're all vegan, they are synthetic, and they have this great ability to pick up just the right amount of color. If you have cheap brushes, they will actually waste your product. So you want brushes that are going to pick up just the right amount of color and have the ability to blend on your face. The last thing you want is to have any streaks of color on your face. Um, so I highly recommend these brushes. You can actually get a set of them or individually. And yes, there are plenty of brushes out in the universe that you can also get if you're somewhere like at Sephora or Ulta. I know Sephora has their own line and one of my favorite like eco lines is eco tools and that you can get on in almost any grocery store drug store they're at Target and they're very reasonably priced so now how to wash these brushes because you do have to wash them if you do not take care of them this is what happens the powder the the product ends up getting lodged in the center of the brush and when that happens you can say goodbye to your brush because it lodges in there and the breath the, the bristles start to fall out so if you get brushes where the bristles are falling out it's because you haven't cleaned it and you basically killed your brush and you will see that the hairs start to break off and so you want to make sure to prevent that before you um, destroy your investment you're going to take a little bit. I like the clean shampoo from Beauty Counter, or you can use a really mild uh, baby shampoo that's organic, that doesn't have all the chemicals. Put it in the palm of your hand, and then with mix it with a little water, and you're going to wash them out. You can take it in a bowl also. What you don't want to do is you don't want to immerse all of your brushes like in a jar full of water. What that does, it will... Um, the water will get inside of the cap of the brush and it will break off the, the bristles and you'll lose your, the life of your brush basically gets um, still stinted. stunted. <laughs> um, so you can actually take it in there, swish really quick 